Hi, uh, my name is John Wright. I live in northern Uganda in Angora. And when we came here, God gave us a vision to be a bridge of healing to the nation. We understood our call to be here was to be a support to a new base in Ye in South Sudan. During that time, there was still a lot of war and fighting going on in South Sudan. And uh, the base was really struggling because it was so isolated. We felt called to come to a world just to be a link. Since we have come, peace has come to South Sudan and we saw other Waiwan bases established in South Sudan, which has been really exciting. So in 2013, civil war came to South Sudan. But still we remain committed to seeing God's kingdom advance. Yeah, I'm Paul Augustine. Uh, for what I serve with the Waiwan EA base. And our vision is to see Southern Sudanese raise up with dignity, you know, taking out transformation, preaching the word of God to all people. At the moment, the people we are dealing with in Southern Sudan, they really don't know the word of God. And discipleship is key because it will really transform the life of a person. So our teams are reaching us also to the Muslims within the town. Some of them just build relationship with them and stay with them and show the love of Christ with them. So the biggest ministry that we are running and it is really recognized seriously is the education and the school. Ah uh, yes, um Nokutai Luzai Ponyo by name. There was no school within, and there are a lot of children who are just staying at home, doing nothing, because the school which were there a bit far. Yeah, it has been not easy. I started just a small under the tree, and we had our eating room. So I started with 14 children. Right now, in Nazareth, there are about 130. In the primary section, there are about 320. The community, we expect them to collect something which will be able to be supporting the teachers who are teaching these children. And then, YOM as an organization take the lead in uh, building the structure. The funding, of course, it uh, enable our teachers because of the training to have good skills of teaching where head of school to come and serve it. Yeah, our new building that we are going to have soon, uh, two classrooms are there and we have office with the staffs and inside we have another small room for life. My name is Cole. Helen Kambes, I'm schooling in Wyoming, nursery and primary school. I'm in primary 8 class. I love Christian religion education. If I come to the school, I learn how to read. And at home, if I go, I teach them the word of the Lord to the Bible. My name is Omar William from South Sudan, Agwane Base. The base from Marua discovered this and reached people on the mountain 
and they found those people really that are in need. Because there, there's no school, there's no even actual bar hall, there's nothing even actual like medical facility. Most of the men, they spend their time going to the hunting places. We started visiting those places and making relationships with them. Slowly by slowly we started sharing actually the love of God with them. And then from there they respond. And then they started also speaking like, yeah, but this is actually the word which you are sharing with us. We are not being even hearing. We believe on those small God, but we actually share with them, this is not right. Because God who created you is not this small God which you can build near the door. We really opened the church which we planted and from there we got like 30 who got saved and then from there the number started increasing. Right now we reached up to 150 and they already left drinking, they left even other things like fighting, violence and other things. We started also a program of preschool just in 2012. Right now as I'm talking we already reached to the level of primary five. My name is uh, Abut Yongdi. I'm from South Sudan. We do our best to reach, to, to reach our to the poor. Last uh, uh, two years, we we distribute uh, the Christmas gift, gift which uh, is just the small bag and, and the Bible. So we give it. So and we pray with them and encourage them. And we talk it like uh, like a hundred family. I remember one day, uh, one mother with uh, three kids called Mariam, she's from Sudan, and she's a Muslim. And we give her the, the bag, and we say, this is just a Christmas bag. This is the gift for Jesus, from Jesus to you. And, it's, and she start crying, and say, this is the first time for me to receive something from unknown. I say, I don't, I say to him, it's not a unknown, this is a God. And it's your, it's your God, it's uh, what he give you life free. And now is the one who give you the bag also free. And she was crying. She was crying. We pray for her. Uh, she was very, very, very happy with that with that uh, gift. Uh, we also have uh, the movement in Dubai is very limited because of the insecurity in the road, because there is a lot of criminals in the, in the street, especially Juba, Ye Road. What we can do is just to pray and uh, and also. Uh, to, to encourage youth, because youth, we don't want youth in Juba to, to involve in the, in the tribalism. Uh, reconciliation in South Sudan is our, our priority as a wife in Juba.